I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in this blue eyes. Good morning, everyone. So for today, I'll show you how I do my three types of watering uh, method. Uh, first, I do my controlled watering that is with my syringe here. And, and then the second one is my bottom watering method that I use for a specific type of plants. And three is yung regular na hinahost natin. Um, let me just explain kung bakit meron akong tatlong types of watering method na ginagawa. Um, that is mainly because, again, for new beginners, it's very important that they understand first that water could be detrimental to succulents. So, since wala pa sila ng ganong understanding, um, ginawa po natin is to put a uh, specific type of method para mas madaling sundan. Because, um, subjective ang ano eh, ang konti tsaka madami. So, ang konti sa atin, uh, pag ma marunong na talaga mag-alaga ng succulent, could be uh, 10 to 20 ml. But for a beginner, it could be a half, of, half a cup of water. So, that's a lot. So, especially kung wala pang ugat yung halaman, tapos tutubigan agad ng ganun, so, ang mangyayari, mag agad sa kanila yung plant. And then, madidiscourage sila kasi parang unang try pa lang nila, ba Tapos patay agad. Kasi ako po, nung nagsisimula ako, yun din yung na-experience ko. Na pag nakita ko nag wilt yung halaman, hala, tutubigan ko. The next day, nakita ko may nag-brown, hala, tutubigan ko. So, learning from my experience before when I was starting out and having no one really to guide me, no? Um... It was difficult for me to, nahirapan akong magpa, mag, magbumuhay ng halaman. Kasi yung mga nare-research ko din sa Google um, are based from um, international uh, international care. No? So, may winter kasi sila. So, um, may, mga, may mga bagay doon na hindi applicable sa atin. May skeletal or may basic siya. But then again, um, a lot of them are not really... Um, like kunyari sa kanila pag during bird season they don't water for a month to two months so parang we cannot do it here kasi tayo tropical country we are a forever spring early summer temperature no so dun ko naintindihan na parang hindi lahat applicable so I decided to experiment so yun nga if you're a beginner malaking tulong po kasi na mas meron kayong susundan na lang na steps kesa sa sasabihin sa inyo na ah, basta konti lang ang tubig para ano, hintayin mo mag-ugat. Mahirap po kasi yung ganong uh, mahirap po yung sundan yung ganon na paraan. Lalo na kung walang-wala kayong alam tungkol sa succulents kasi bagong-bago pa po kayo. So, yun nga po. Ang ginagawa ko sa akin is um, uh, a way to help yung mga baguhan para mas madali nila maintindihan. So, like this one, no? yung aking controlled watering, this one may madiba is, um, ano na yan eh, uh, established na yan, mag isang taon na sa akin yan. So, but I'll just show you how I do it. So, what I do is, I I distribute, let's say, 20 ml around the brim of the pot, never touching the plant, never touching the stem. And the reason behind that is because, um, ako po, ang priority ko is the farina. So, like this one, no? si Orange Monroe ko. Um, my goal is to make it look flawless. Like that. So, um, hindi ko siya hinahawakan. Uh, and I make sure that there's a gap um, in my pot. Half an inch to an inch of gap to make sure that I have space to move. And then, there's also space for the plant to move. Ito actually, dati ganun siya. Pero, na-outgrow -out, na niya na. So, malapit ko na rin siyang i-repot. Um, yun, so pag controlled watering po yun ang pinaka um, pinaka okay for plants na talaga inaalagaan ko kasi syempre hindi na naman po mura mag invest sa halaman lalo na sa mga Korean succulents minsan inaabot yan ng mga 1,000 plus ganyan, diba? 2,000, 3,000 and kung magiging uh, rush tayo no, sa watering techniques natin na usually yun yung nakakapatay ng tubig kasi minsan nakakalimutan mong i-blow yung plant, yung, yung crown ng plant, no? Or may naipit dyan na hindi mo napansin, natulog ka na kinabukasan, naging humid or naarawan ng konti, ayun, mabubulok po talaga siya. So, para ma-avoid ma po yung mga unnecessary deaths and losses financially, um, 
ako po, mas ginusto ko na maging careful. So, that's my first step for, that's a reason kung bakit po um, na-develop natin yung um, controlled watering technique. The second one is yung bottom watering naman po. So, ang bottom watering ko naman po, I use this for plants that are severely dehydrated, like this one. Um, nakalimutan ko siya actually diligan for quite some time kasi nasa back siya ng rack. Um, so, makita niyo yung kanyang wrinkled leaves. Also, I use this for plants na hindi pwedeng mabasa yung mismong rosette niya, like yung sed sedum dasif uh, yung dasifilum major ko. Like this one, binabottom watering ko po siya because hindi pa rin nababasa yung ibabaw niya dahil nag-rot siya agad. Kasi super lipis ng stem niya. Hindi niya kinakaya yung ibabaw. So this one, what I do is, I just dip it. I just dip it hanggang sa lumubog siya. Maramdam ko yung lubog or makita ko yung water sa ibabaw. Ayan. So pag nakita ko na yung water na yan, I'll leave it for a while, like siguro mga 10 minutes, and then iaangat ko na yan. So, this one, ayaan ko siya dyan. Kasi this one has been with me for a year already. Sobrang hindi, niyan, hindi maselan yung uh, baby fingers ko. Ay, no, sorry. Uh, baby toes? No, baby fingers. Yan. Ah, oh, sorry. Baby necklace. Ayan. This is a crassula baby necklace that I got a year ago. Um, yun. So, I leave it there for um, 10 minutes and then babalikan ko na lang siya afterwards. I let her soak for a time. This one naman... Again, it's not applicable to all uh, succulents kasi uh, merong ding mga succulents na hindi malakas ang need nila sa water. So, you only do this uh, method for those na fast-growing um, and dun sa mga malalakas sa tubig, sa tubig talaga. Like, corpuscular lemani, pwede mong gawin yan sa kanya. Um, tsaka itong sila kraso la baby necklace, mahilig sa tubig. Actually, yan. So, yun lang po yung mga differences. Kailangan din talaga aalamin natin kung ano yung mga specific needs na mga plants natin. And it will take a while. That's why ang, ang general advice natin is to still go for the controlled watering. There. And lastly, this is my regular watering method. Um, so, I just use a regular spray hose. And, um... Hindi naman sa dahil hindi ko sila favorite, no? It's just that, syempre, uh, mas malaki yung financial investment sa isa kasi mga imported uh, Korean sakilin sila. Ito naman kasi, I need to do this because it's too much for me to handle kung front and backyard ko, eh, ko controlled watering ko. Hindi naman din siya, eh, practical, di ba? So, I water them this way because fu uh, fully established siya sila. This is their second summer. They can take the heat uh, open air siya. So, kahit na full summer heat, um, naka-exposed lang sila. Except for the other ones, nakaka-replant ko lang. Kaya, naglagay ako ng shade net uh, for one month bago ko sila binitawan ng full sun and rain ulit. So, ngayon, I water them every four to five days with a spray hose. Okie dokie. So, I just want to say thank you and hopefully you just learned something new again today. And I'll see you again. Bye! I get so caught up in the middle